All right. Say hello first. Yes, I'm Elizabeth. Hello. Um, and I'm going to be talking, as Scott mentioned, about the Process Capability Database. So this is a list right now of all of our benefits and capabilities that we have with the database. Our main goal is to make modeling faster, more accurate, more consistent, um, using real tolerances, using real data, um, your real materials. You, we want to incorporate everything you're actually using um, when you are manufacturing something. So what we use is we take historical data or your knowledge base, and then we create a database within DCS. Um, we like to categorize each of these tolerances um, from your knowledge base by material, process, and feature type so that we can filter and categorize through maybe your list of thousands of different um, possibilities of tolerances and easily find the one you want to apply. Um, we can create tolerances on features, on points, um, and they, they're automatically created once we highlight um, the feature or point you'd like to create a tolerance on. And you'll, be, you'll see a demo of how to do that. We can link existing tolerances and existing GD&T to this database. Um, there's just a new button at the bottom of our, each of our tolerances that will link to, um, it has a link to the database option and then you, it'll take you to the database and you can select which one you want to link. We can additionally import CMM measurement data from QDM. QDM, as Ben mentioned, is our other software that is quality data management. And this includes all kinds of measurement points, whatever, whether you use CMM or whatever. We can take those exact values that you see in your plant and apply those as a tolerance um, just by importing that. So I'll demo that a little bit too. And finally, multiple tolerances can be linked to the same database parameter. For instance, um, one tolerance in the database can, you can choose all different tolerances in your model to mimic that exact same tolerance. And then if you have all these linked tolerances, you have one button that you can update all of them together. Okay, so I'm just going to give you an overview of our workflow to create a new tolerance. So, um, maybe this would be as you're starting a new model and you want to start off with the database and then create all new tolerances according to that database. Uh, what you'll do first is create your custom database. This is an example and I'll show you again how to do that. Um, then you have your, your model with points and all you, you're going to need to do is select either the point or the feature. When you right click, we have this new option here called Add Tolerance. And what that does is it'll pop up the um, link to database box and you can, this is your list of all database items. Then you can, um, then you'll see in your tolerance, it created a new tolerance for you and then it's linked right here. So that's starting with a new one. We can also use existing tolerances. So say you want to add a database to your existing model and you already have it done, all you need to do is open up your tolerances and then it can be a feature tolerance, a uh, point based tolerance, GD&T, as I mentioned, um, and then we just need to click this link to database button. It will pull up your database, and then once you double click to select, it'll show up down here, and also the range and offset values that were in the database will show up in your tolerance. 